Cruise Culture 2024. Cruise Culture is a car show which is based at Carmarthen Showground and it's very awesome. Check this out. Are we ready, Luke? Yes, Cruise Culture, how are we doing today, guys? We're the Bike Battle team, and hopefully we're going to put on some two-wheeled entertainment this afternoon, guys. Now, this first show is going to be a little bit tricky because of the waterlogged grass, and hopefully it's going to dry out for the quarter past show, like quarter past two show. But we're still going to get the bikes out anyway and give it our best, ladies and gentlemen. But like I said, this first show might just be scaled down a little bit depending on how the boys feel on the bikes with the wet ground and the wet weather conditions. But if it stays like this, I reckon we'll be good to blast a proper show by quarter past two. So I'll introduce you to the boys. We're the bike battle team. we got our BMX rider, Tom, over here. He's a bike battle team rider. Goes all over the shop with us. And we've got one of our new trials rider, Jake, as well, who's an intercontinental trials champion, guys, OK? Jake's riding a 300cc two-stroke machine and he's going to be using a little bit of everything that we've laid out today guys from the jump box to the van to the tables to the flat ground wheelies stoppies all that kind of stuff and then we're going to have our bmx rider going up to the top of the van in a minute rolling down hitting the jump box and hopefully tricking midair and then not slipping off onto his backside when he hits his white, uh, this wet grass but DJ, if we can keep the tunes spinning, please, Mucker. We'll get the boys warmed up. We'll get the bikes warmed up. So I reckon we're going to get Tom up to the top of the van. And then we'll start with a little bit of moto trials from Jake Young, our trials rider, guys. So we're going to start up the 300cc machine. Set up just for doing trials on, guys. Like we say, two-stroke. 300 cc machine and the theme of the day is going to be a little bit petrol power versus pedal power guys so we're going to start off with some of the easier stuff and we're going to work our way up to the harder tricks so we're going to start off by getting the 300 cc bike warmed up we'll get jake all warmed up some stockies some wheelies probably lots of skids on the wet ground just for pretty much gonna get the boys warmed up to start guys. We got Tom hopping around on that front wheel on top of the bike battle van there as well. Maybe we'll even be able to get him to do some tricks on the landing as well after his first jump. So Jake's just going through the motions of getting that bike warmed up, moving on to the concrete there to get some more traction for the wheelies. Nice little stoppy onto that front wheel down the far end there. Full throttle, bang, straight onto that front wheel, turning the bike around at about a 90 degree angle there. Now this trials machine is for scaling rocks, jumping gaps, clearing hops. And as you look on it guys, it's got some super suspension with a really low tire, tire pressure as well that just helps absorb some of the impact when he's tripping off big heights and stuff like that. So if you're not too sure what trials is, ladies and gentlemen, the easiest way to explain it, it's all about balance, precision, timing, bike control. And when we say bike control, we mean foot control, weight control, clutch control, the whole Japan. The change back tire, slipping out of the Around. Make sure you give him a little wave 
with the rise past you as well, kids. Feet to your energy, so just working up for the CC machine now. Mr. Jake Young, intercontinental champion. Trials champ. Now he goes all over the UK doing competitions as well. Did the Scottish seven day not that long ago, I believe. Weaving all the way past this side of the crowd as well and slipping out. So that was Jake getting all warmed up on his 300cc Charles machine. Now we're going to move into our BMX who's in shaking at the knees because of the heat guns. But we're going to see if he can do it and not fail. So what do you think he's going for, mate? What are we going to go for? So it looks like he's going to start with a trick called a tuck no handler, ladies and gentlemen. So he's going to hit the box, pull his handlebars against his chest, and he's going to take both hands off. If he can get both hands off in the air, that'll be your cue to give him a little round of applause for our BMX and Tom and Jake. Let's get it. Right, dropping in across the run-up boards, up the transition, bars against the chest, fully extended on the arms. Now the problem is, he's riding on nice dry wood and then onto wet grass, and we're going to take all the wet back onto the boxes. But he's going to make his way up, drop, and then ride back up the van. So we've just gone for a trick called a tuck no hander, guys. The next trick, after he's dried his shoes off, are you going to go for a bar spin, mate? We're going to go for a bars. So a bar spin, guys, is a 360 spin on the handlebars mid-air. Now, if he can pull the bar spin, he's going to get both of those tricks. He's going to add them together into one combo trick. But we're going to start with the bar spin. Once he's used his, his uh, only T-shirt as a towel to dry his tires off. So if he can pull his bar spin, We'll switch it up and we'll get him to do both these tricks in one jump. So whenever you're ready, Tom, dropping in, up the transition, spin the bars, pulling the front end up nicely and riding off nice and smoothly. So we're going to send him back up, going to have to get those tires dried up. Like I said, guys, doing the best with the wet ground conditions. But by the time quarter past two comes, we will be rocking and rolling and we're bringing out all the big bangers, guys. So you've just had a tuck no hand and a bar spin, but now he's going to do that bar spin again and try and take the hands straight off after, okay, guys? So he's going to start with that bar spin, a 360 spin of the bars, and then he's going to try and take both hands off. So we're going to let him get those tyres dried on. That's his favourite t-shirt, which I believe he's using up there as well, guys. So he's getting himself ready. Tyres are all dried off. So bar spin. And if he can get those hands off, that'll be your cue to give him a little round of applause. Here we go. Getting himself locked in. So two tricks. One jump, bars, hands. All oh, hands coming off super quick there. But he got off, so let's give him a little round of applause anyway. Cruise Culture 2024. So we're going to send him back up. We're going to let him dry his tyres off. We're going to bring out the 300cc machine again. Wheel spin. So getting that bike warmed up again. Some sit down wheelies there. Kicking his foot out just to keep his balance locked in. And nice big circles. So working his way down to the far end of the arena there. He's eyeing up a few little lines. Seeing what he's fancied. Where he can have a little nibble on the jump box, mate. Right, giving that bike a little bit of throttle there, lining himself up. Chucking grass everywhere on the 300cc trials bike. There you go. So straight up onto that BMX jump box. Now trials is about trying to keep your feet off the ground as well, guys. Like we said, it's all about balance. Currently in the track stand position, you'll see he's got his tire turned, which keeps himself locked in and dialed in and able to balance on that bike without dabbing the feet. So we're gonna see how well the suspension works now. And we're gonna see if he can drop to the flat ground and hopefully not skid into the crowd and take everybody out. I'm sorry you'll be okay, but it has happened a couple of times, so watch out, guys. So still keeping that balance locked in, straight back down to flat, 
slamming the brakes on, not sliding too much there, which was good news for Jake. So we're going to keep letting Jake work his way around, play on all of the different parts of the course that we've lined out for him. So back on top of that BMX jump box, now we're going to try and come off the other side. Keeping himself locked in and dialed in. Trying to flat, suspension working over time. And then those tyres with a low pressure in, absorbing a lot of that impact as well. Now he's eyeing up a couple of bits. So let's see what Jay's got. Just rolling around, getting a feel for the ground. The ground is definitely starting to dry out though. So by quarter past two, we will be rocking and rolling for a full set of bangers, guys. Right, so keeping himself locked in. If you notice, he still hasn't touched those feet. Little bit of throttle. Take him up to the top of the bike battle wagon. Turning himself down that back wheel, hanging right over the end there. There's not really a lot of room for a big motorbike like Jake's riding, let alone two guys on bikes. So we're gonna see if he can use the BMX rolling, maybe a little nose wheelie, and then switch it to the back wheel and wheelie all the way over the BMX jump box. If he pulls that, let's give him a little round of applause. Cruise Culture 2024. So just keeping himself balanced, locked in, dialed in, rolling down, lifting that back wheel up, now switching it to the back one, wheelie all the way over. And let's have a little round of applause for Jake Young. Killing it on the trials machine. How are your tyres coming on, mate? You've dried them, yeah? What trick do you fancy going for? What do you fancy? Yeah? You wanna, are you sure you want to try that? Right, guys. He said before the show he wasn't going to try any 360s because it's wet, but he's feeling himself. So he's going to try and do a 360 and take the hands off at the same time, guys, okay? So your cue to give him a round of applause is if he can get those hands off as he's 360. So let's see if he's got it, okay? Himself psyched up, amped up for the drop in, dropping in. Up the transition, 360, top that hand up, getting those hands fully up. Tom Harrison, guys, risking life and limb at Cruise Culture 2024. Yeah, buddy. So we're going to send him back up. So, how are you feeling about a pretty dangerous trip? A tail whip. Do you reckon you've got it? Can you demonstrate a tail whip once you... It's a 360 rotation of the bike frame like this, guys, okay? So we're going to see if he can pull a tail whip. And then later down the line, we might even see if he can do a tail whip combination trick. Getting that back tyre dried up with his favourite t-shirt. Right, are you ready, buddy? Alright, so we're going to get the drop in three, two, one. Down the rolling, up the transition, whipping the frame around, catching it nice, and rolling off. Smooth, like butter on that one, guys. So we're going to send him back up, we're going to let him get dried up. We're going to bring Mr. Jake Young back into the mixer. Yeah. 
Hide on the green cow, on the boat cow, Saki's here this weekend. He's been spending nine years over there in Macau, near Hong Kong, riding shows in a, inside a casino where there was a lot of water, but there was no rain. We'll bring him out. This is Chris Birch. Welcome him back to the UK. He is one of the oldest riders in the UK scene. He is finally back after so many years away. And here he is to deal with a little bit of wind. The man whose name is on the truck. That is the Squid Freestyle truck. They're at the Navy Gear, England's number one rider right now. Jamie Squid! Both of these guys have spent a large part of their careers traveling the world, coming off race on world across and competitions actually burning themselves. Ooh, sorry about in your way. I watched Bertie ride at Red Bull X Riders there at that six hour station. Here's one. We did a couple of X Riders swimming riding behind me here, having ridden at the Ivan X Air Freestyle Motocross World Championships, after some dirt. If you guys have heard of Travis Castrada and Nitro Circus, Swimmy is one of the main hero riders to join that tour every time they roll in. Actually, I think Swimmy and I are going to do a couple of no jumps for Nitro Circus. Now we're going to give them a couple warm up jumps, or at least warm up, looking at the red to get their speed. Because we do have about a 40 mile an hour gust that keeps occasionally popping up. So they're trying to work out how fast is the wind. We're trying to put the wind as like a tail wind for us. The tail wind is the uh, optimum. Better than a, you know, a headwind or a crosswind. There is no speed on these bikes, but let's see if Swimmy gets the first go! Ooh, was that, oh, I couldn't see it from this end. Was that okay? Is that a thumbs up? I don't seem overly excited about it, having a chat with Birchie. So I would say, near on the hardest jump today is the first jump. There is no speed though. They don't actually know how fast they're going. You've got the wind to deal with. You've got wet grass, slippery tires, jumping on a bench ramp. The first couple of jumps are always hardest. So it's pretty just had a little chat there. Two Bertie. You know how fast it is. Chris Bert's rolling around now. Ooh, I thought he was going for that one. Maybe it wasn't the best idea when he came on, so he kind of created a short run up here. It would probably be easier, like Swimmy was doing, taking this rock, roll to roll run up where I'm standing. Chris Birch now in the orange and black here. First jump! Nice. Okay, now I feel a lot better about this show. Both riders have been in the air. Birch made it over. Swimmy's already over it. Good job, Birch, in very trying conditions. But that's why Freestyle Motocross is still one of the most gnarly sports in the world. Virgin now, second jump, looking a lot more comfortable. Alright, we make the show up, turn up, Jamie Squid. Getting that front wheel up into the air. Go on with the Axel Hodgson style there, I think, from Squiddy. Right, you, know, you can see dropping that front wheel in as he goes to land. What a swimmy hot stuff. Nothing, no man, it's not me. And the bike started moving under him. Getting a little bit sideways there. So these are the warm-up tricks to see how the bike feels. I 
might think there was a bit of rain around and um, and I said, okay, well we clearly can't do the show because in Australia I just wouldn't do it. And Swoop's like, oh no. If I didn't do a show because of the rain in the UK, I wouldn't have a job. So we had to figure out a way to do it. So that's why you've got this mesh runner all the way. Mesh on the left. The landing has the carpet as well. That is the only reason these shows can happen because of the innovations that Squibby and a couple of other Euro riders have put together on these setups because otherwise I don't know. These conditions suck, but that's why Squibby's here. He's built it up, he's done well. We've got to go extra tricks. Do you reckon we could get a couple more out? Oh, oh hang on, hang on. What are you going to do? Have you got any surprises? Yeah. <laughs> 